How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another video from the 2022 New York Auto Show. Behind me is a pretty cool pre-production model coming from Volkswagen. It's the ID Buzz. Now there is kind of a crowd in the front of it so I'm gonna do a little intro with you guys here. But before we get into the ID Buzz, definitely be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. It helps me out a ton as a smaller YouTuber. And also turn on post notifications by clicking that uh, bell down there. But kind of moving towards I guess the front of this now keep in mind this is a uh, pre-production pre-production model so it's basically kind of like a concept or a prototype of version actually it's past the concept of prototype phase uh, and these are actually getting ready to be sold in Europe however there's a lot of unknowns when it comes to the US market with these so, so if you could see as we kind of come around uh, the side here there's basically just two rows of seating for this one and that is what Europe is apparently going to get whereas the US market is going to have a slightly longer wheelbase and also another like second row of seating in the back and speaking about the back looking in the back here there's still a decent amount of space uh, without the row uh, but again US market should have a second row and the wheelbase should be longer, so the it definitely should be stre uh, stretched out a little bit. But it's really cool to see uh, Volkswagen actually kind of bringing, I guess, the bus back in a way. Uh, one thing that is pretty neat, I talked to one of their executives, but that little uh, handle right there on the uh, B pillar is basically the only thing that is r retro, or the only thing that kind of pays homage to the old bus, besides the overall, you know, a whole loaf of bread shape that this thing is. But besides that, that's pretty much like the only thing that is old about uh, this new bus. And this is going to be the Volkswagen ID Buzz. I think it's going to actually hit production around 2024 or 2025. So definitely be sure to check it out or, or you know look forward to those years for the US market uh, getting these. But again, this is actually very similar to what the European market is actually going to get. And in the front here, uh, this little front part actually does open up. And in there you have your heating, your cooling, a couple other components. But besides that, that's pretty much it. I mean, this is you know fully electric this one specifically is actually rear wheel drive and it has the same exact drivetrain as the id4 over there but a really cool design i mean i honestly really like it uh, but a lot of things are up in the air about this id buzz right now no one really knows the uh price point or the you know starting price point no one really knows that there's going to be an upgraded uh version they think that there is going to be an all-wheel version for uh, not just the US but I think the European market as well but the lady actually just uh, opened up all the doors and you can see like there's plenty of space in there a uh, little like fold fold out tables for the back seats which is pretty neat and the entire dashboard here is a very futuristic modern design very simple uh, basically just one kind of piece of wood that goes across the entire thing a lot of white inside and there's a little looks like a touch screen right in the center there or I'd have to assume it's a touchscreen just because I only see like, you know, a couple uh, buttons on the dash. And now uh, the, the lady from Volkswagen is actually, you know, messing around with the seats, probably showing people how uh, they go up and down. But there's pretty much not, not much to say about this, although I really love the futuristic design. I hope that when Volkswagen eventually does come out with this bus, they don't change it too much. Uh, the wheels also very futuristic it basically looked like this big kind of five spoke or five spoke opening hubcap over the top of everything right there to be honest it does look a little cheap but it goes with the overall uh, just design of this id buzz i also really like how they have uh, i guess turn signals integrated on the side mirrors right there but overall, I mean, this is going to be a short video because there's really not much uh, to talk about with this ID Buzz because, again, not much is really released to the public right now, so I apologize for that. But at the auto show, again, I'm trying to, uh, you know, film a lot of stuff for you guys. And actually, in the back part of the seats, I'm going to go around the other side here uh, because I just saw it on one of those seats, but the camera's probably not going to be able to pick it up. But on the back part of the seats, you actually do have a little, it does say ID, so that is pretty cool. 
But again, a lot of things can change. And considering I said what I needed to say about this ID Buzz, and there's not much else to talk about with it, uh, I'm gonna look over at this uh, Volkswagen ID4. Again, this should have the same drivetrain as that ID Buzz over there. So all of like, you know, the battery packs and the actual electric motors expect it to be the same when this ID Buzz actually, you know, hits uh, production. But again, it could it could change. We're a couple years uh, from there. Now this uh, ID4 right here actually has a range of around 240 or 250 miles on a full charge, I believe. Now th that is what the European or the first, you know, ID Buzz going to Europe are going to probably have. But again, when they hit America in a couple of years, who honestly, you know, who knows how uh, technology is going to evolve and how the uh, range is going to be. But I did talk to uh, one of the executives, and again, he did uh, mention probably around, hopefully close, and hopefully over a 300 mile uh, range on a full charge for this once it actually does hit the uh, North American market. And also uh, another little thing about the dashboard right there, there's a little storage space right there for the passenger, as well as a little storage space underneath underneath uh, the touchscreen right there for the driver, which is another neat little feature. But I really hope that, you know, again, Volkswagen doesn't really change much with this concept. It is really cool. Uh, again, for the American market, it's gonna be a little bit longer, but besides that, I really hope they don't really touch the design at all. I honestly really love this design. It's not your like typical modern retro design because it's, it gives off more of a futuristic feel, I guess. But it is, it's a very simple bus. Again, there's not much to talk about with it, but the, but the old retro Volkswagen buses were also simple vehicles as well. So I hope, you know, Volkswagen doesn't go too over the top with this and really drives the price up because I do know that that ID4 I believe MS the starting MSRP is around 41 or 42 thousand uh, US dollars so hopefully you know this thing doesn't get crazy with the price but it is really cool to see uh, Volkswagen kind of bringing the bus back into their lineup. Now that's pretty much just gonna be it for today's video. Again, I apologize on the uh, lack of information and lack of public information, quite frankly, on the ID Buzz. Uh, this thing is basically, I think it's making its debut at this auto show. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, uh, but Volkswagen is purposely, you know, not releasing anything because they, they want the hype to grow. They want people to get uh, excited for it. And honestly, from what I can see right now, I am, I'm pretty excited. I'm not in the market for an electric Volkswagen, Volkswagen bus. And I don't think I would get something like that when it actually, you know, hits, hits production. But I think it's really cool. My dad actually, you know, grew up, he had a, a Volkswagen bus when he was younger. Unfortunately, it got total, but you know, that's one of the vehicles he always wished that he you know still had so my dad's super pumped for it I actually really love the design and again I hope that Volkswagen just doesn't go really ridiculous on the crate uh, on the um, price excuse me and I, I hope that they don't go really crazy on um, you know changing the design so again this you know isn't one of my more informative videos and there's a huge crowd of people uh, I, you know, crowding the bus. So I, I apologize for that. I try to do my best. But let me know what you guys think of this pre production electric ID Buzz Volkswagen bus concept uh, coming from Volkswagen in the year 2024. And also let me know how you might, guys might, you know, like the design to actually change in the future or, you know, what you just like about it uh, right now. But that's pretty much just going to be it for today's video. Again, definitely be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Really helps me out as a smaller YouTuber. But like always, Thank you guys so much for all the support and I'll see you in the next one.